Katrina, walk us through some of these numbers. Can you clarify these things for us, please? Thank you. Yes, well, that's exactly right. You know, the number of seats that are being offered by airline carriers in China has actually dropped by the most since early in the pandemic. And this is, of course, as uh, this Delta variant spreads across the country and spurs fresh fresh restrictions on movement. Seat capacity actually plunged 32% in one week. Uh, that's based on data from OAG. And that stumble has really sent uh, waves throughout global capacity uh, around the world. Uh, that's now down uh, weekly 6.5% as travel comebacks stagnate in Europe and North America. So its effect has been quite far reaching. How do you see this impact uh, having, or what impact could it have internally in China? I think even in China, it's, it's having uh, a very widespread effect. I mean, the, the, the most obvious blow is to domestic tourism, which has been uh, really picking up. I mean, China is obviously a very vast uh, domestic market, lots of places to go, lots of uh, places to fly. And that was, um, you know, experiencing a bit of a peak during the summer holidays. So that's really uh, come right back. But there's also a, a broader impact within China as well, the economic impact. And we're starting to see sort of ripple effects of that. Uh, Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan just the other day downgraded, downgrading rather their growth forecasts uh, for the third quarter and the full year. Um, and then also from a company's point of view, Beijing Capital International Airport, they pared back their outlook last week, saying now that they expect their net loss to widen to as much as 860 million yuan in the first half, just purely because of this pandemic impact on the drop that it's having on passenger throughput. And what does it mean for the rest of the world? You know, people talk about China in itself up until, I guess, recently before we talked about the story as, you know, its own travel bubble. The rest of the world, there's some good parts and some bad parts. Uh, yes, there are some good parts and some good bad parts. But I would say with the um, Delta variant creating sort of, you know, more and more negative headlines by the day that that sort of optimism that we saw in Europe and parts of Europe uh, just a couple of short weeks ago has been fast fading unfortunately. Globally uh, airline capacity now stands at about 64% of pre-pandemic levels transatlantic travel that doesn't look like that's going to be bouncing back anytime soon Soon. In fact, it looks like it could be further restricted. Uh, the EU is weighing reintroducing travel restrictions for visitors from the US next week as these coronavirus case numbers rise again. And John Grant, who's the chief analyst at OAG, he was saying, you know, just the other day that all this data, quite negative data we've seen, uh, really makes uh, look, uh, you know, winter 2021 look pretty bleak.